Now the left side, 134, and I have to block this. I have to wait for him. Right about the top of the hill, and as you know, I'm sure, once you guys take him to Colorado, he's got a spot there. So if you're still in Pasadena, use Colorado, which is what the house is going to do. He's got a little bit of touch on his phone. We're headed for a bad sounding problem. No time to go by the valley, and between the 60 and the 10, I know it's not that from before the 60, but now I'm not going to lie. And tell four of us, it's just getting a little bit better. I'll tell you in a minute for you. You have the two right hand spots for a long time. The teams will head to Atlanta for Game 2 tomorrow. The Lakers' Russell Westbrook had a very interesting night against his former Oklahoma Thunder team. He put up 20 points, 14 rebounds, 13 assists, but also 10 turnovers. That's a weird quadruple double. He also got kicked out of the game in the fourth quarter after throwing a temper tantrum on a court. The Thunder have come back from a 26 point deficit to stun LA by winning the game 123 to 115. The Clippers fell to the Cleveland Cavaliers 92 to 79. I know that's a good question. Hey, Tonda here. Know why I got a whole house water filtration system from Surrogate Water? Because I don't want to wonder if my family's tap water is safe. No more wasting money on bottled water, no plastic bottles to recycle, and no more visits to the chiropractor's office because you're looking five oh. thousand bottles of water or 40 pounds of salt. No calcium buildup on faucets or shower heads. And no oh, more water is waste. You need to save the life of your water heater. Stay gone with this clean water. Surrogate Water offers free life care oh, service. No one else can make that claim. It's a so let's get to it again. Tell us preferred whole house water filtration system. And for a limited time, if you buy a whole house system, you can get the whole stage alkaline drink system for free. 844 84481. 844 84481. That's T-U-R, again, water.com. Spell wrong, what's the water's like? 844 8481. I love it. I went to Solomax years ago. Just this I went sooner with all the money I saved. Right now you can get some Solomax.
Good morning, Terry. How are you doing? Uh, I'm Terry. Okay, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, not a problem. Yeah, you know, my heart is my chest and my back is not exploded out of my body. So it all works out. Uh, the big story is... Yes, yeah, the big story is uh, what you said about the FDA and the CDC and then the, the FDA finally approved in the emergency use authorization. It's probably going to happen within the next few days for vaccinations for kids, 5 to 12. And the Kaiser Family Foundation survey came up with two-thirds of parents are not going to vaccinate their kids. Let's talk about that. Because to me, that makes no sense. But uh, you may have more insight on that. Sure, I mean, everybody has a higher threshold for kids as far as, you know, the protection and wanting to make sure everything's okay. So, I'm not really surprised by that. No, I think I don't. <laughs> right, I guess you have. But, I mean, the bottom line is that people want to be sure. And, and you know, when you're, again, when you have something, you have a healthy kid. And if they have no health problems right now, and you have the potential to give them something that could have health adverse reactions or side effects, you really want to be 100% sure that you know that works before you start doing it. And that's why there's been a delay in getting kids approved. You know, the last thing you want to do is take a healthy kid and make them unhealthy. So we had to know that the, the risk uh, was outweighed significantly by the benefit. And now, you know, a billion vaccines later, now we've given it to people all over the world, uh, and we can see these results, it's becoming, you know, blatantly clear that it's worth, that, you know, moving the vaccine into that population. Yeah. But people are going to lie behind that, I get that. Yeah, well, here, uh, I can talk on it, it's kind of on that, and uh, you know, one is that uh, you try to set some kids and the risk that the kids are going to react. Uh, if I if I have my sex stats correctly, there's a bigger chance of your child getting into a car accident and dying driving to school to get a major side effect from the vaccine based on a billion vaccines that have been now, now administered. The other one, and the only one that makes any sense to me, and I'll buy this, although uh, I don't think the stats set this up, it hasn't been around long enough. We don't know what the long-term effects are. Now, of course, the benefit versus the risk is a whole different animal, but uh, when we talk about long-term effects, what does that mean? What is long-term? Uh, you tell me. I mean, I'm not really clear on that since vaccines in general don't have long-term effects. I mean, they have immediate effects that then may last, you know, for quite a long time, but we're still the known immediate effects that then could go on for a while. So, that's not something we see from vaccines in general is a, a long-term effect, you know, or some long-term problem that results from uh, people, you know, down the line or oh, they get oh, 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 to them, they all of a sudden get really sick. And that's not something we see. Now, here's, a, here's another one that I love. These are the crazy people. And that's their crazy. So, uh, the Tyson Family Foundation uh, did its survey and comes out with uh, its past. And right now, the good uh, the story is that the vaccine causes infertility among children. Uh, when that story came out uh, just a few months ago, uh, or maybe a year ago, 3% of the adults who had children even knew about that or were concerned about that. Now, 66% of those children are concerned about infertility in their kids. Uh, other than those people are crazy, you want to explain that to me? No, it's just, uh, it's just uh, random fake news craziness. So there is no evidence uh, that there's a link between infertility and anything to do with vaccines. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I don't know why you're looking out with it, and uh, there's a good chance that amputations will occur. There's a good chance you're going to lose your forehead. I mean, just, you can come up with any kind of crazy stuff. All right, let's take a break. Well, they do. They, they do. They, do. they come up with all kinds of stuff, and just some of it gets back to the mass storm about that. When we come back, and Jim, we take a break, and I want to talk about some Halloween uh, stuff that people are using. Uh, vampire fangs can kill you. How's that for uh, some of the kids that are there now? Come on, Mario. It's good. No, it's good. It's good. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, co costume contact lenses. Your eyes will actually fall out of your head. I just read that, Jim. And I'm sure that's true. 
We're, we're going to come back and uh, talk to Jim about oh, some medical oh, oh. Uh, stuff regarding that. This is KFI AM 640, and your chance to win $1,000 on top of that. Jennifer Jones Lee. I feel like you're making it more uncomfortable than normal this morning. Facebook has filled employees to keep records and documents dating back to 2016. A memo sent out this week also says they should avoid using any type of messaging that can't be preserved. This comes as the social media company is facing several government investigations related to a whistleblower's leaked document. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony is on Saturday in Washington. The Go-Go's, Jay-Z, and the Foo Fighters are among those in the class of 2021. And the pandemic is playing a bigger role in the dictionary. Merriam-Webster is adding Ghost Kitchen, Curbside Delivery, Vaccine Passport, and Super Spreader among the 455 new ways and phases this year. We're looking at your ride with DKFI in the sky and back to the 605 next. If you thought you missed a lost mortgage break in history, you're in luck because they're back. Mortgage breaks are near historic loans again. But if you have a mortgage, you can also stay and forget it. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Now, I'm talking about someone who's offering the last 15 years of sale of 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Incredible! Network Capital has built a reputation for saving people time and money. They're finding the process of solving the loan secure. Our 15 years of sale is 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Now, you can call them today at 1-800-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-
and offering same-day shipping from 12 locations across North America. Business owners, sellers, buyers, shippers, and packers believe it. Uline is the hard-working, dependable source for your shipping and industrial supplies. Visit Uline.com. Has COVID-19 made it hard to pay your rent or utilities? Are you worried about a refresh? Get the help you need now. The California COVID-19 Rent Relief Program covers 100% of your unpaid rent and utilities to help you in your home. Apply for rent relief now and let your landlord know you've applied so you can avoid eviction. The application is fast and you won't be asked about citizenship. Apply today at HousingIsQ.com or call 833-430-2122. Sponsored by the State of California. This is Rito Smith, owner of Service Captain Plumbing, Heating, and AC, with another good deed for Christmas. Our technician, Alexander, was performing the cleanup recently when he discovered that he needed to ride to Home Depot. He asked the customer if he needed anything at Home Depot, and he perked right up. The customer went into his garage and found a specialized screw with an O-ring in the end. He said he needed a few more just like this so he could hang a shade over his pool to keep his grandkids from getting sunburned. Alexander found the part, and when he got back, he said, Look, I have the tools, I have the energy, let's go ahead and hang the shade down. The job would have taken our customer an hour to do himself, but the two of them together got the shade up in just 15 minutes. Thanks, Alexander, for doing another good deed for free. We're service champions, plumbing, heating, AC, and good deeds for free. Our thinking savvy investors, looking for predictable monthly cash flow, want to reduce uncertainty, hedge inflation and stock market risk with double-digit targeted returns? If you want the safety and security of a real estate investment, but without the hassles of being a landlord, you've probably heard of NRIA. NRIA is an industry-leading real estate development firm in its 15th year, developing strategically located, lower-risk, high-demand neighborhoods based on supply, demand, and balance. They are a great fit for safety-oriented investors who want cash flow and diversification into carefully chosen real estate. Learn more about the NRIA Real Estate Development Fund at nria.net or call 800-800-1414. Contact lenses. I didn't even know. Didn't even know they did that for kids. Yeah. So I mean, the the phone thing is uh, TikTok, and where people are using, uh, you know, fake nails and then gluing them to their teeth. So not just the not the normal. You can do that, but then you can't get the nails off. (laughs) That's the problem. And so that's not particularly dangerous. It's just kind of stupid looking. Yeah, 
kind of people that need to damage your feet, trying to get the uh, degree and the male off your feet afterwards. It could be expensive. I have to go to the dentist and have them try to remove them themselves. So it's just not an advisable thing. It's just a normal little plastic one just put in your mouth and pop in and pop out. Uh, yeah. Or you can use candy corn. When you figure that is good, which is also kind of stupid. Uh, now, uh, uh, okay. lenses, though, you know, those, those are, you have to have a prescription for contact lenses. But if you already have a prescription and you want to get colored lenses or all of that, that's fine. But if you buy those ones, you know, from China, or, you know, online, then you're taking your chances as far as your eyes. Because they, they may not be, you know, sterile. They may not fit your eye well and cause problems as far as, you know, scratches or other things like that. You ever seen uh, a picture walking around uh, with that issue? Uh, yeah, but, I mean, with regular contact lens, that's kind of a frequent thing. Okay. It's, a, it's a regular thing that we see in the emergency department. But uh, when you start, uh, obviously, costume contact lenses are such a smaller percentage of people putting contact lenses in their eye. But if you're going to get them and they're not prescription, they're not, you know, FDA contact lenses, I think the risk is a little bit higher. You know, again, you're only doing it for a few hours, but you really want to pay for a doctor visit or an ER visit and then have pain in your eye just for, you know, a few hours. It's, you know, it's up to you. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the parents are crazy and they allow their kids to do crazy stuff. All right, one last one uh, before we bail out of here, and that is uh, giving out, quote, healthy Halloween candy. Uh, it used to be just apples, you know, with razor blades in them that we used to get when uh, we were trick-or-treating. Uh, that was healthy. Right. Uh, so, what is that about, uh, giving out the, what is uh, healthy Halloween candy? Yeah, no kid likes fruit for, for Halloween, right? It's uh, heavy in your bag, you got to carry it through the rest of the neighborhood, and you're not going to eat it afterwards anyway. Um, so, you can be that parent that gives out healthy fruit or something like that, or toothbrushes like the local dentist usually does. But uh, the bottom line is, I mean... And candy every once in a while is, is acceptable, it's reasonable, it's, it's a thing, it's not going to kill you. Uh, and there really isn't any such thing as healthy candy. Those are all just marketing gimmicks, you know, that you get 100% of your vitamin C if you if you have this candy or, you know, gluten-free candy. I mean, every candy is pretty much gluten-free. So it, it, it's just fake to, to sound healthy. Right. Might as well just get the real thing and, and let kids enjoy it. Now, I, I never received a toothbrush. Uh, as a kid, uh, trick or treating. If I did, I, I swear I'd shave it down to make a shiv and stab the guy in the gut. Uh, <laughs> how do you give a toothbrush for Halloween? <laughs> Jim? Well, no, I, I, I have no doubt you would have done that. Yeah. You would have been an interesting kid to see in the neighborhood. Yeah. All right, Jim, take care. Enjoy. Take care. All right, bye. Take care. Uh, you know, you gave me the look, Jennifer. Did you ever get a toothbrush when you were trick or treating? Um, I think if you went to the not trick or treating, I think if you went to the dentist around oh, yeah. that time, like they gave you. Yeah. But I don't. No, I don't think I ever got a toothbrush. Yeah, my dentist still does that. I get handed toothbrushes. Yeah. And what I do is I ask for them because it's uh, and I use them in my guest uh, room when people come to visit. Yeah, well, that's smart. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then you get a, a you know fresh toothbrush. Now I've never had anybody actually come to visit because I don't let anybody visit. So I've got bags full of this stuff. The plethora of yeah. toothbrushes. <laughs> Lots of those coming up. Handle on the news late edition right here. KFI AM six forty. Jennifer. All right, we are waiting on the president now. He is expected to make say, a statement about after meeting behind closed doors with Democratic leaders. Regarding his social agenda, um, as soon as we know what came out of that, I'll let you know. Um, he was supposed to do it about 8.15 this morning, so we're running about 15 minutes behind. Hopefully I'll get you that information sooner than later. Former Long Beach school safety officer accused of shooting and killing an 18-year-old woman in a car leaving the campus has been charged with murder. Motor Rodriguez's brother says he hopes the charges will help his family deal with their loss. You know, hopefully I can heal. Hopefully my family can heal. My mom is... She's, she's a bit happy, but at the end of the day, it's like, you know, why did it take this long? Officials say the safety officer, Eddie Gonzalez, was patrolling when he saw some sort of fight between Rodriguez and a 15-year-old girl. They say when Rodriguez and two others tried to leave, the officer shot at the car. Rodriguez died from her injuries a few days later. News is brought to you by Applied General Agency. The California Supreme Court has refused to consider Brad Pitt's appeal of a lower court ruling that disqualified the judge in his custody battle with Angelina Jolie. An appeals court decision in June said the judge hearing the case should be disqualified because he didn't disclose his business relationships 
The Pitts attorney. The two actors are fighting over the custody of their of five of their six kids. Officials in Santa Fe, New Mexico, say they haven't ruled out filing charges for the shooting that killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins. If the sheriff's office determines during our investigation a crime has occurred and probable cause exists, arrest, an arrest or arrest will be made and charges will be filed. Sheriff Adon Mendoza says investigators have collected about 600 pieces of evidence from the movie set where the shooting happened, including the gun that was fired by actor Alec Baldwin. They also have a projectile from the shooting that was in the director Joel Souza's shoulder. Pablo's pets are now people. The late drug kingpin Pablo Escobar smuggled dozens of animals into his private ranch in Colombia before his death by cops in 1993. All the animals, including elephants, giraffes, and camels, were moved to two zoos except for four hippos. Those four have turned into 120 hippos roaming around Colombia causing big problems. A movement's been growing to kill them off, but a U.S. court has now ruled that two wildlife experts can testify on behalf of the hippos who have been sterilized non-surgically, saying the hippos are interested parties. That court ruling makes it the first time animals have been recognized as legal persons in U.S. history. Michael Crozier, KFI News. The Environment Day and Circus is making a comeback. The Three Ring Circus says working on plans for a new show that will not feature any animals. The circus shut down in 2017 following several legal battles over animals being forced to perform. The updated show is expected to debut in 2023. We're taking a look at the 134. Well, we should keep that music to the traffic sound there. Uh, big delays. <laughs> there you go. It is a circus out here. They can pass it in to Glendale, westbound 134 Glendale Avenue. We're just, just looking at it. Still blocking the right lane. So that West 134 now is the call coming out of Pasadena, Colorado, in between uh, Pasadena and Glendale. Got a little busy, but I think it's still better on the freeway. And what's extremely tough is North and South 2 going to the West 134. It's all not about these times, okay. Uh, northbound 605 coming up through Industry. We're over that about 15 minutes ago. Carpool left lane block, slow coming up from the 5. And, uh, well, I, I said great news for the South 405 at Cherry at a long time problem there in the two right lanes. But now I understand the left lane is blocked. So, again, it's slow coming down from the 710. Can not win here this morning? Injured in accident, visit Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. Jeff Bollock, AFI in the sky. The Houston Astros overtook the Atlanta Braves in the second inning of World Series Game 2 by hitting a series of singles to convert a 1-1 tie into a 5-1 lead. Atlanta had no answer for that, suffering a 7-2 loss. Game 3 set for tomorrow in Atlanta with a series tied at a game each. The Kings host the Winnipeg Jets tonight at 7.30. You can listen to it live through the video app. And the Ducks will get the Buffalo Sabres at 7. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. You don't often think of uh, the equity in your home as just a pile of money in the bank uh, that earns no interest whatsoever. And the, well, I'll tell you what you do, uh, you are aware of, is the value of your house exploding over the last couple of years. So, equity is strong, you've got money there, it's earning no money, interest rates are ridiculously low, so what does that translate into?